Well, I can say that today the Brexiteers are not going to be happy because economic mex experts today have made an explosive uh, suggestion of a further referendum to reverse Brexit to avoid the crippling of the British economy. The Influential Organisation for Economic Cooperation and Development, uh, ODEC, I think, it is, I think that's how the acronym goes, said the deadlock in the exit talks now threatened a disorderly Brexit with severe consequences. The report uh, controversially puts the case forward for a dramatic rethink on the agenda, suggesting that halting uh, EU withdrawal is a route to avoiding that fate. Uh, quote, in case Brexit gets reversed by political decision, change of majority, new referendum, etc., the positive impact on growth would be significant, the report said. The suggestion is that uh, certain to influence Brexiteers, but will bolster campaigners calling for the British public to be given a second vote when the facts of Brexit are known. And we've known the facts for a while. We've known them since before the referendum, but we were constantly branded, oh, that's just Project Fear. And now, uh, when you tell these facts, oh, you're just putting uh, the country down. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry that you don't like the reality that we're telling you, but those are the facts from the experts. And, you know, if you ignore experts, you ignore them at your peril. Uh, so, uh, ODEC uh, analysis suggests that a no-deal Brexit would wipe up to a staggering £40 billion of UK economic bro growth by 2019. The UK economy will grow 1.5% slower in 2019 if the country crashes out the EU with our trade deal or transitional deal with the bloc in March 2019, it said. Crucially, it makes the assumption that trade talks will break down, triggering a hard Brexit and slapping of tariffs on imports and exports between the UK and EU. West Stirling, a Labour MP and supporter for the Open Britain group, uh, said today's ODEC analysis should be the final nail in the coffin for an already long buried notion that Brexit will benefit our economy. A hard Brexit or a walking away with a no deal would would wreck even a more punish would wreak even more punishment on the UK economy. The government can avoid this if they drop their ideological and self-imposed red lines and start negotiating for continued membership of both the single market and the customs union. ODEC admitted that the Brexit negotiations were difficult to forecast and could prove more favourable than assumed in its report, uh, boosting. Uh, trade, investment and growth, but it warned of a very real threat that no deal would spark a sharp reaction by the financial markets, sending the exchange rate uh, to, the new, to new lows, leading to a downgrade of the UK's sovereign rating. Business investment would seize up, the heightening of price pressures would choke off private consumption, the report said. Uh, the current account deficit would be harder to finance, although its size would likely be reduced. There is also a risk that Scotland and Northern Ireland could vote to stay in the EU in a second referendum, which would have a major impact on the national economy. So, once again, just goes to show you, Brexit's just a bad idea. Um, all this notion that somehow we're going to be better off is complete farcical. If we, again, if we leave the EU, but we remain members of, you know, the single market and the customs union, it won't matter. Because, as I've said from the very beginning, even before the referendum, this has been put forward several times, these negotiations aren't going to make us any better. You know, Japan won't suddenly move closer. Australia and New Zealand aren't just going to up sticks and sail around into the, you know, Atlantic Ocean. It's just not going to happen but a lot of people just think this is the case trade uh, distance in trade matters and our closest trade partners are all in europe and all in the single market these are the people who we constantly trade with more often than anyone else but you know apparently somehow 
us, you know, re going out and restarting the Empire is is somehow viewed as a sensible option by a lot of these Brexiteers. It's absolutely insane, but, you know, and it's not just a, you know, a single drop. This isn't just the first warning sign that's been said. These have been pretty much since day one where we lost, you know, where the pound lost an, an absolute, where the pound just dog-tailed, like, it's going like that. You know, it's it's absolutely insane, but, you know, it's it's cutting your nose off to spite your face, but that's the situation we're in.